Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Carol and this is The Simple Mama. If you're new here, welcome. I am a mommy of three. I have an 11 year old, a four year old, and I have a seven month old. So I am a busy working mama. Um, for today's video, I am going to be doing a crock pot recipe, but what makes today's video so special is that it's a collaboration with Mandy from Mandy in the Making. And y'all, I know you will love her channel. Whenever I first found her channel, I was just in awe of how like her videos just drew me in and I would just sit there and just watch and watch forever and binge watch her videos because she has such a relaxing spirit and you just like go from one to the other to the next to the next. So she's definitely a binge worthy channel. So if you're looking for something, Mommy and Lifestyle, another channel to tune into, then I would definitely go check out hers. And if you are coming over from Mandy's channel, welcome to mine. I do Mommy and Lifestyle videos over here on my channel. So I hope you will hit that red subscribe button and join our family over here. I'll be preparing chicken noodle soup today in my crock pot. So what I like to do as a working mom and just as a mom in general because we're so busy is I always prep everything the night before. So I already have everything in my crock pot. So this morning, all I have to do is stick it in my crock pot, add the juice and call it a day. So that makes it very, very convenient for me just because I am so busy and I wouldn't have had time to prep all of it this morning. I'm gonna be putting the recipe card at the end of this video so you guys can just screenshot it and it's really convenient for you and you can just have it in your phone that way. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the recipe. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say subscribe to our channel? Subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Can you say love you guys? Love you guys. Blow a kiss. Bye. Bye. <laughs> For this recipe, you're gonna need one and a half to two pounds of chicken breast, five organic carrots, three celery stalks, half of a medium onion chopped, three chicken bouillon cubes or six cups of chicken broth, your choice, one and a half tablespoons of chopped garlic, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of parsley, one teaspoon of thyme, 16 ounces of egg noodles, and salt and pepper to taste. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by chopping up all of my vegetables and washing my chicken. So I'm gonna go in, chop my carrots, chop my celery, and also chop my onions. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to take my chicken, give it a good wash, and then cut off any of the extras that I don't want on there. I'm really picky about my chicken, so I like to give it a good wash and then take off anything that I see hanging off, to be honest. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I always prepare my crock pot meals a day in advance. So the only thing that I'm not going to be putting in with all of the veggies and the carrots and seasonings tonight is going to be the actual chicken broth because I feel like my carrots and stuff will get soggy if I put it in on the same night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my chicken broth and put it to the side and then in the morning I will add it. But you guys will see all of that in this video. It'll make more sense as we go on. But this is just a mom hack that is a must for me because I just don't have very much time in the mornings to prep things like this. As I said in the beginning of the video, I am a working mom. If I am preparing a crock pot meal and it's not like just a dump and go, I have to chop and do all of those laborious things the night before.
let's go ahead and move on. First and foremost, go ahead and put your crock pot liner in. This is a must have for any mama anywhere because it makes cleanup so easy. Let's go ahead and throw everything into our crock pot. If you are making this the night before, then I would recommend holding off on the chicken broth. Just put that chicken broth in before you actually turn your crock pot on and are ready to cook. That will be best because you don't want all of your stuff to get soggy overnight. Also guys, I wanted to remind you that there's gonna be a recipe card at the end of this video. So stay tuned so you can screenshot that and have this recipe on hand at all times. So you can have the recipe on hand just in case you'd ever like to make it. But let me know guys in the comment section if you like the recipe card because I worked really hard on it and I would like to continue to provide that for you guys if that is something that you enjoy seeing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my crock pot with all of my goodies in it, along with my chicken broth into the refrigerator so it's all ready and set for me in the morning. Okay, so here I am in the morning time. Yes, YouTube has it. We have skipped along to the next day. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my crock pot out of the refrigerator because it is all ready and prepped for me, which I freaking love. Now all that's left for me to do is throw in my chicken broth, give it a good stir, and then set my crock pot. I'm gonna set my crock pot to cook while I'm at work for eight hours on low. You could also cook this on high for four to six hours, whichever is gonna be best for you. I know everybody's days are different, so you just use your discretion and cook it to your liking. Now I am home from work, so it is time to go ahead and dump my noodles in on my stove. You can put this into your crock pot, but we always have a ton of leftovers and the noodles will get too soggy if I put them into my crock pot. But if you have a large family or maybe you're cooking this for a get together, then you can definitely throw your noodles in the crock pot, cover them with water and just let them sit until they're al dente. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt into my water. I'm going to, I'm gonna shred all of my chicken and add some salt and pepper to taste to the chicken noodle soup and then it will be ready to serve. Y'all, this was the best chicken noodle soup that I have ever had. I think that adding the thyme really just did it with this recipe. So if you are cooking this, make sure you add the thyme. That is one spice that you're not gonna wanna leave out. do it for this video I really hope you enjoyed this chicken noodle soup was to die for my husband even said that it was packed with flavor so he doesn't usually say that about things but I guess he really enjoyed this one but I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one bye mm -hmm.